Opening. Why did the librarian get kicked off the plane? Well, it's not because they were too loud, or because they brought too many books. No, the reason is far more amusing. Closing. Because she wouldn't stop telling the pilot to book it. So you think librarians just shush people and read all day? Well, you couldn't be more off the mark. Picture this. A librarian, not behind a desk, but orchestrating a puppet show for a group of wide-eyed toddlers. Yes, you heard that right. Librarians often double as event planners, organizing everything from book clubs to author meet and greets and yes, even puppet shows. Now imagine that same librarian, not leisurely flipping through a book, but racing against the clock in a high-stakes game of find the misplaced book. As the unsung heroes of organization, librarians have the magical ability to locate that one missing book in a sea of thousands, all while keeping a smile on their face. And let's not forget the role of a librarian as a guide, not in a jungle or a dense forest, but in the vast wilderness of information. Have you ever been lost in the labyrinth of the Dewey Decimal System or struggled to navigate the intricate web of online databases? Don't worry, your friendly neighborhood librarian is there to rescue you turning the daunting task of research into a walk in the park. Then there's the detective side of a librarian. No, they're not solving crimes, but they are masters at unearthing information. Need to find out the average rainfall in Timbuktu in 1972? Or the name of that book with a blue cover you read five years ago? Just throw the challenge their way and watch as they delve into their vast resources to fetch the answers. And of course, there's the part where they play peacekeepers maintaining the library as a quiet sanctuary for those seeking refuge from the hustle and bustle. Yes, the occasional shushing might be involved, but mostly it's about fostering a space where knowledge, silence, and imagination coexist. So if you think librarians are just bookworms, think again. They are guides, detectives, event planners, and peacekeepers. They juggle a myriad of roles, all while keeping the library, a cornerstone of our communities, running smoothly. Now, isn't that a plot twist you didn't see coming? Let's talk about the elephant in the room, the paycheck. How much does a librarian rake in for their daily adventures in the land of literature? Well, it depends on where you're at. In 2023, the average salary for a librarian in the United States is around $45,000 a year. That's a lot of books. But remember, it's not just about checking out books and shushing noisy patrons. Librarians are the gatekeepers of knowledge, the guardians of the Dewey Decimal System. Now, if you find yourself in the Big Apple, the average salary for a librarian hops up to $59,000 a year. That might help with the skyrocketing cost of a studio apartment or your insatiable bagel cravings. But hold on to your library cards, folks, because if you're in San Francisco, Silicon Valley, to be precise, you're looking at an average salary of $61,000 a year. That's right. Librarians in Silicon Valley are swimming in a sea of books and bucks. Now you might be thinking, I need to pack my bags and head to Silicon Valley. But remember, the cost of living is as high as the stacks of books you'll be sorting through. And let's not forget, your paycheck isn't just determined by your location. Factors like the size and type of library you work in, your level of education, and the number of years you've spent in the hallowed halls of the library all play a role in determining your salary. But let's be real, no one becomes a librarian for the money. It's for the love of books, the thrill of research, the joy of guiding a lost soul to the perfect novel. It's about the hushed whispers, the smell of old pages, and the satisfaction of a perfectly organized shelf. So, if you're in it for the money, you might want to consider moving to Silicon Valley. But remember, the real reward of being a librarian is measured not in dollars, but in the countless lives you enrich through the power of literature. So, how does one become a librarian anyway, you ask? Well, brace yourself, because it's not as easy as alphabetizing your bookshelf or mastering the Dewey Decimal System. First off, you've got to get yourself a bachelor's degree. It doesn't matter what you major in. Could be underwater basket weaving for all anyone cares. But here's the kicker. You also need a master's degree in library science. Yes, you heard it right, library science. It's a thing. And no, it doesn't involve lab coats or Bunsen burners. Now you're probably thinking, a master's degree to shush people and read books all day? But hold on to your bookmarks because there's more. Most states also require librarians to be certified. And no, this certification doesn't involve knowing how to make the perfect cup of hushed tone tea. And then there's the licensing. Some states require public librarians to have a license. I mean, who knew that recommending a good mystery novel could be as regulated as driving a car? But fear not, the test doesn't involve parallel parking. And just when you thought you jumped through all the hoops, 
there's the continuing education. That's right, the learning never ends. You've got to stay up to date with the latest in information technology, digital resources, and yes, even the newest New York Times bestseller. But don't let all this deter you. Being a librarian is more than just shushing noisy patrons and dusting off old books. It's about connecting people with information, helping children discover their love for reading, and yes, sometimes even saving the day by finding that obscure reference for a last-minute research paper. So if you're ready to embark on this journey, remember, it takes more than a love for books to become a librarian. It requires dedication, a thirst for knowledge, and most importantly, a good sense of humor. Because let's face it, you're going to need it when you're explaining for the hundredth time that the library isn't responsible for overdue fines on books borrowed from your friend's collection. So yes, you do need a degree to shush people professionally, so you've become a librarian. But where do you go from here? Well, just like any career, librarianship has its own unique ladder to climb. And no, it's not just a ladder to reach the top shelf of the mystery and thriller section, though that might come in handy too. It's a metaphorical ladder of career progression and growth. Starting off, you might be a library assistant, diligently stamping due dates into books and mastering the art of the perfect shush. But don't get too comfortable in your quiet corner just yet. As you gain experience and further your education, you could become a full-fledged librarian, managing collections and organizing community programs. Imagine being the puppet master of the puppet show at Story Hour or the gatekeeper of the rare book room. But wait, it doesn't stop there. With a bit more experience and a dash of ambition, you could become a library director or a head librarian. That's right, you could be the big cheese, the head honcho, the queen of the quiet, ruling your library with a benevolent reign of silence. And if you're really adventurous, you could specialize in a specific area of librarianship, like digital resources or children's literature. Imagine becoming the Indiana Jones of the library, hunting down lost ebooks in the digital wilderness. And let's not forget academia. With a doctorate in library science, you could become a professor, teaching the next generation of librarians how to perfectly align those books on the shelves. Or you could conduct research, contributing to the field and shaping the future of libraries. Of course, this is all said with a bit of humor. But the reality is that librarianship offers a wide range of opportunities for growth and advancement. It's not just about books and silence. It's about community, knowledge, and making a difference. So if you're contemplating a career in librarianship, remember that the sky's the limit. Or in this case, perhaps the top shelf is the limit. Who knew you could go from shushing people to becoming the shush boss? Librarians, changing the world, one book at a time. Now it may sound like a grandiose claim, but let's think about it for a moment. These champions of the Dewey Decimal System are the gatekeepers to knowledge, and knowledge, my friends, is power. Picture this, a young patron stumbles into the library, lost in the labyrinth of literature. Our fearless librarian swoops in, not in a flashy cape, but armed with a trusty barcode scanner. They deftly guide the patron to that one book on quantum physics that'll spark a lifelong passion. Fast forward 20 years and voila, that kid is now a leading scientist, all thanks to a librarian's guidance. And let's not forget their role in preserving history. While the rest of us are busy creating TikTok dance routines, librarians are painstakingly archiving our past. They're the silent guardians of our collective memory, ensuring future generations know about our victories, our follies, and yes, even our viral dance crazes. But their impact doesn't stop at the physical realm. In this digital age, librarians have evolved into cybrarians, guiding us through the chaos of the World Wide Web. They're like internet Sherpas, helping us discern fake news from facts and Wikipedia entries from scholarly articles. They're the bulwarks against the flood of misinformation, one accurate source at a time. And remember, they do all this while navigating the treacherous terrain of book clubs, author signings, and the occasional paper cut. Not to mention the constant shushing. It's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. So the next time you visit your local library, take a moment to appreciate the unsung heroes behind the counter. They're not just stamping due dates or rearranging bookshelves, they're shaping minds, preserving our history, and aiding our journey through the information age. And they do it all with a smile, a helpful hint, and an uncanny ability to find that one book you didn't know you needed. So next time you're in a library, remember, you're in the presence of a society-changing superhero. Now, wasn't that a page-turner of a video? We've journeyed through the stacks of the library, 
delved into the humorous and often surprising world of librarianship, and even crunched some numbers. If you found this content useful, entertaining, or both, we'd love your support. How can you do that, you ask? Well, it's as simple as hitting that like button. It's like a high five for our hard work. And while you're at it, why not subscribe to our channel? Think of it as your library card to more fun and informative content. We're on a quest to reach 1,000 subscribers and every single one counts. That's right, you could be part of our journey to that big one oh oh oh. So, go on, hit that like button, subscribe and join us as we explore more hilarious day in the life videos. Remember, every like and subscribe brings us closer to our goal of 1,000 subscribers. So, what have we learned today? Well, in this roller coaster ride through the life of librarians, we've uncovered that their jobs are far from dull. They're the quirky guardians of knowledge, often finding themselves in laugh out loud scenarios that could fill the pages of a comic book. Becoming a librarian is no joke either. It requires a master's degree in library science and often additional certifications or licenses. But the journey doesn't stop there. Librarians can climb the ladder, specialize in areas like digital archiving or children's literature, and even become library directors. Historical events and cultural influences have shaped this profession in fascinating ways, but what's truly heartwarming is the impact librarians have on society. They're the silent heroes, helping us navigate the sea of information, addressing important issues, and making a difference in our lives one book at a time. And hey, they might miss out on some sunlight, but who needs that when you have the warm glow of a good book, right? Now we'd love to know. Do you agree with our take on a day in the life of a librarian? Is there something we missed or a funny story you'd like to share? Please comment below. Thanks for joining us on this hilarious journey into the life of a librarian. Until next time, keep those pages turning.